I'm Dr. Rita Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and let's get right to it. What should normal semen look like? Is it too thick? Is it too thin? Is it the right color? I get questions about this all the time, and today I'm gonna answer all of them. So what does normal semen look like? Normal semen is usually a whitish to a grayish color. It is usually got kind of a chlorine-like smell to it, and it tastes slightly sweet because it has some fructose in it. But also other factors can make, make it taste a little bit more metallic or other things like that. And the texture itself can change over time. So even from one ejaculation to the next, it may look a bit different. What happens is right after ejaculation, proteins in the semen itself cause it to be thick and clumpy so that it can stick to the walls of the vagina and actually get into the cervix for the purpose of impregnation. However, after about 15 to 30 minutes, that starts to thin out and become more watery. But generally speaking, the taste and texture of your semen can change drastically depending on a whole host of things, like the diet you're taking, the medications you're taking, if you're taking vitamins or not, the amount of alcohol you consume or tobacco or any other drugs, how much fluid you're drinking. So the more fluid you're drinking, the more watery or thinner consistency your ejaculate might be. And ultimately, usually it's all normal and okay. I've also talked previously in a video about how to increase the volume of semen that you're producing, but the normal amount of semen is anywhere from one and a half to five mLs, which is about a teaspoon. So it's not a huge amount. Unless you're experiencing other symptoms like pain with urination or ejaculation, pain in the testicles, or having blood in the urine, or if you're struggling with infertility, I wouldn't worry about the texture of your semen. First reason that someone might notice that their semen is a bit thicker is that they may be not ejaculating frequently enough. So over time, that can cause the sperm volume to actually increase, making it more thicker in consistency. Similarly, dehydration can do the same thing. So if you're not drinking enough fluids, you may notice that your semen is a little bit thicker as well as having certain infections because having infections of the genitals like sexually transmitted infections can cause white cells to go into the area and into the semen itself causing it to be a bit thicker we talked about why it gets thick what about why it gets thin if you're ejaculating frequently you may not have had enough time to kind of restore the good quality sperm into the semen itself and so it may take some more time before you see that again thickish whitish semen volume that you normally got also, it may be that you're actually seeing pre-ejaculate or pre-cum. I'm gonna make a video about pre-ejaculate or pre-cum. That is usually a very thin watery substance that you release prior to orgasm or ejaculation. And that is always typically clear and watery. Nothing to worry about. All right, let's talk about semen color because this is something that people ask about all the time. So like I said, normal semen color is whitish to grayish. However, what happens if it's a little bit reddish or pinkish? You may be concerned about blood in the semen. So I've made a whole video about blood in the semen before. Make sure you check that out. But reassuringly, very commonly, if it's only happening, if it only happened one time, it's usually due to inflammation and it will go away on its own. Or it could be due to an infection. So if you've had unprotected sex with a partner who you're not sure of their STD status, then it may be valuable to go get tested. Also, if you have trauma to the area, either to the bladder, the testes, or the scrotum, you may see blood in the semen from that. What about yellow? So what if your semen looks a bit yellow? Well, there's a couple reasons for this. So number one, if you are um, having any sort of blockage to urine passage, so if you have an enlarged prostate, if you have a urethral stricture, and I've made videos on these before, the urethral stricture video is one where I reacted to Johnny Knoxville. Um, so you can watch those to learn more about those conditions, but they can make it more difficult to empty your bladder and some urine can get left behind in the urethra. And that can then tinge the semen to look a little bit yellow. Also, infections can cause it to look a bit yellow, or if you're experiencing something called jaundice. Jaundice is usually associated with liver problems. You may also notice that your eyes or your skin are getting yellow, or you're having pain in your abdomen. Uh, so it wouldn't be an isolated, just yellow ejaculate. Green, so green sounds a little bit weird, but it's also usually just a sign of either inflammation or infection in the area. So if you're not having symptoms, it's probably infection and it will just pass. Also, certain vitamins, if you're taking certain vitamins, that can change the color of your ejaculate as well. 
What about brown ejaculate? So brown could be a sign of old blood in the semen, or interestingly, if you've had an injury to the spinal cord, when they've done studies on these patients, about 27% of them had brownish colored semen. While we don't know why this occurs, it does seem to be an issue that happens in patients with a spinal cord injury. I hope that you guys found this helpful. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.